Hey guys, and welcome back to another Train Simulator video. Today we're going to be doing a full length journey between Ellsbury Vale Parkway to London Marleybone. Good morning driver, please press T to load passengers, we are due to depart at 6.53. Okay then. Lights ready. There we go. So we're rocking the Chilton Railways delivery for this journey. I believe the Chilton Railways are uh, this delivery is mostly run on this line. And obviously the grey version of delivery is for the Chilton mainline. It goes up to uh, Birmingham uh, Snow Hill via High Wycombe and There's a few other stations which I've kinda of forgotten, so yeah. Right away next stop is Aylesbury. Oh, let's get a screenshot. Actually, you know, let's get, let's get going. That'll be late. So, Just Trains haven't updated this train at all. It's just the same class 166, I believe. They get the Great Western Main Line, and obviously, they've just reskinned it. The sounds are awful, as you would imagine. And Hopefully Armstrong House does do a boy for it, an enhancement pack for the train, that would be pretty cool actually. For those who are like driving this train, I'm not particularly a big fan of this train but for those who like driving this train quite often then hopefully they add a enhancement pack for this train because it definitely needs one. But yeah, next stop is Aylesbury. Then we have Stroke Mandeville. We got Wendover, Great Mizenden. Probably sucks. Pronouncing that wrong, apologies for that. We've got Amisham, which is the only uh, station on the Metropolitan line that we're going to be stopping today. And then it's going to be a full on some journey to London Marleybone. It's pretty much like a semi fast service. Just calling it those big stations outside London. So let's arrive at 57. Should be good. I have already done a scenario, not a scenario, a quick drive on this uh, route with the S8 uh, Metropolitan Line stop train, the AI. So if you want to check that out before this one, then you can. I did it between Finchley Road and Amersham. And I believe you can do uh, Watford to Finchley Road as well, and Finchley Road to Watford as well. Unfortunately, Oxbridge branch isn't in the game, but anyways, they might include that when the S8 stop train properly comes out. They said a few more months until uh, they release it, so hopefully... I don't want them to rush it or not, I want them to make it perfect and all that, so... When it does come out, it works perfectly and looks really good. Got 30 mile an hour speed limits. I have forgotten that forgotten to uh, load on the graphic settings so it might lag a bit more than usual. It does lag in certain spots but oh god. Oh I'm gonna speed. Yep. The brakes are not as good as I thought they were. Definitely slow for this speed change. So we should see the branch line that goes up to uh, 
Princess uh, Risborough, which is on the Chilton Main Line as well. That's also included on this uh, London to Aylesbury extension route for the Chilton Main Line. Okay, arriving on time, which is good. This piece of track, single piece of track, is the well, obviously, the line to uh, Princess Risborough goes. So, this should turn off towards this side, and obviously, we're going straight towards uh, London Marleybone. Let's get going. You can see the acceleration on this train is very good. Doesn't take too much time to uh, get going. And we are driving a fly car train. Formed of a three and a two car train put together. Now there is a scenario that goes between this station and uh, Princess Risborough over the branch line back and uh, forward so I'll probably do that next if you guys want to see that. The next station is Stroke Mandeville. And there is a passenger view for this train, but it's the same passenger view as you get with the class 166, so nothing to see here anyways. Okay, this is quite a nice uh, branch line to be fair. It does run alongside the Metropolitan Line for the most part between uh, Finchley Road and Amersham. It does stop at various metropolitan line stations as well, like um, Rickmansworth, uh, I think Moor Park as well, and Chalford and Late I think it's pronounced. And once we get to um, after Wembley Park, we'll uh, obviously see that the Chilton Mainline branch line that goes towards um, Birmingham Snow Hill. See the Jubilee Line trains uh, stations as well. I don't want to slow down because the brakes are not very good. And we are early, so. Class 165 would be nice for this route since we got the ball, the Chilton Mainland, and obviously this uh, London to Aylesbury route as well. Okay, I might have overshot this, hopefully, not. Yeah, the brakes are not very really good, but I think we should be okay. That's pretty much perfect, actually, to be fair. Okay. 
perfect stopping position. But I've done a good job with the stations in my opinion. Look very detailed, nice fencing. Nice seat. Some things do float in the air for some reason, but maybe it's just in the free run when I played the other when I did the other video. But hopefully it fixes itself for this scenario. And this is really really good because you can actually read this. It's in somewhat some detail, you know. I doubt the games would make this all blurry, which you can't actually read, so it's kind of pointless having it there. Nice bridge. We got the main road. Next stop, Wendover. Kind of a weird name for a station, but it'll do. is not working properly as you can see yeah this station isn't even showing with this it's literally empty <laughs> which is kind of weird i'm not too sure if there's a glitch or i haven't downloaded something but i don't know maybe it's just my graphics are quite high anyway so it shouldn't be that i mean showing on the hub but anyways that's that. The other station showed properly, so anyways. Might have to contact them on the Facebook page and inform them why this is uh 
is now a uh, way for that platform. You know, there's people floating. Because when I drove from um, Amersham to uh, Finchley Road, sorry, to uh, Amersham, like all the stations appeared perfectly, apart from uh, some of the roundels which were like floating there, so. Should be working fine. Next stop is Great Missedon. I think that's how you pronounce it. And for those who are wondering when is uh, the Rainham to Luton part 2 coming out, uh, the person who's making that scenario hasn't done part 2 yet, I don't think so. I did check the workshop, but he hasn't done it yet, so. Here for wait until we see part two of that. He is one of my friends in Steam, so I will contact him and ask him if he's done it or not. And I do really want to play him. Like while I've been on holidays, there's actually been quite a lot of nice uh, scenarios I found in the Steam Workshop, so I've got plenty of scenarios to play, that's for sure. I'm gonna be live streaming a uh, train simulator now on Twitch. So if you want to go on Twitch and follow me, then you can get a notification of when I'm live streaming. It will be around 7 p.m. UK time, which I think is a good time to stream. But most people will watch from the UK anyway because I'm gonna be live streaming a uh, UK route. Anyways, so yeah. What I'll probably do is uh, post those live streams on YouTube, like rent, like cut the boring parts out, and then just maybe not boring parts, but like maybe the beginning and ending. That when I start the live stream, I'll just cut out and then edit it and then re-upload it to YouTube. So for those who can't watch the live stream, you can watch it on YouTube. I have done that for a lot of my shows for live and rock league and go for friends live streams so there's a separate uh, playlist just for my live streams which I pre upload to YouTube so if you missed any then you can just go to that uh, playlist and check it out.
might have slowed down a bit too much, but... Uh, somebody added me to friends. Hopefully you can't see that on the video. Yeah, I know I have emergency brake, but I think I kind of need it. The brakes on this train are not very good, as you can see. We might actually overshoot this at some point. Uh, that'll be good. We still have a six car mark even though we have a five car train mark. I don't believe it's a five car marker. If it is, then let me know. Eat more pies, apparently. I don't know why. Like, this platform is absolutely perfect, right? So why didn't the one before, like, even load up at all? Which is really weird. Must be a bug or something. Okay, next stop is Aylesbury. Not Aylesbury, sorry. Amersham. I get those, those two mixed up quite often, actually. Because Amersham is the terminus for the Metropolitan Line, but... Aylesbury is the terminus for the Chilton Railways. I believe the Metropolitan Line did used to go over to Aylesbury a long time ago. I think I did read that somewhere. Not too sure. But I think the fact that the Metropolitan Line goes all the way to uh, Amersham, which is Zone 9 in the first place, is actually pretty good. Considering it's a London Underground Line. Even though we have Watford Junction, which is uh, in Zone 8, I believe, or 9. Only London Overground goes in now, not the Underground, so. Metropolitan. 
surprised if I see one before the Amsterdam station is a red signal. Seven twenty on the dot, which is absolutely perfect. Welcome to Amisha. Very nice station. I like the red bridge though. That looks very nice. We didn't get a chance to look at Amisham uh, in the previous video, but we've got a bit more time now. So yeah, this is the terminating platform, I think. Yeah. Amisham, done on the ground. DIY warehouse here. Nice small parking space. And the final stop is London Marlowe, which is nine miles away, is it? That can't be right. Is it only nine miles away? No, it's 23 miles. Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, that's a bit of a glitch. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure London Marleybone is a nine miles away from Amersham.
Again, we got still have 23 minutes to reach the um, Mardi anyway, so could it make sense that there's uh, such a small uh, speed limit? Unfortunately, we're not stopping at Harrow on a hill. My second local station to where I live. That's okay. Alongside the Metropolitan Line Bowls, the Shorten Railways have its own tracks. I wonder what will happen with this train if it comes. 
Yeah, this is the AI essay stock train, which is actually pretty nice, actually. Obviously, once they properly do it, it'll be looking more amazing. I just want to see what happens. Put in, yep. Oh, okay. That's what happens. It just disappears.
stayed a uh, long time, which is nice. Tracks for the Chilton Railways and then uh, four for uh, Metropolitan Line. But there are fast services, so slow services, slow lines, sorry, slow and fast lines, and then services that go towards Watford, and then obviously Oxbridge, and Cheshire, and Amersham, so yeah. A lot of different destinations. Now he's counting down to the number one, but 8.8 miles. We've got 12 minutes to reach this, so we should have enough time. Should be a uh, Preston Road next. Then it should be a uh, Romney Park. And then also trains from the Chilton Mainland join up. Oh, 
obviously when you're traveling in a Jubilee line or Metropolitan line, you can actually see the tilted railroads as well. Coming along, alongside it very, uh, very nicely. I get why they're covering up because obviously the separate line and all that, but oh, we need to slow down. Oh, well. stand here and you zoom out you can see Finchley Road station which is over there where that tra SH, SH stop train is you can literally see a train coming to in into Finchley Road station from here if you stand here in real life it's really cool <laughs> We've got another train coming out, very nice. I can see why I mean when these are uh, round doors, like they're floating for whatever reason, I'm not too sure why. If you do, then let me know. 
how I can fix that with this. It doesn't look that great, in my opinion. I can't see nothing, unfortunately. Okay, I can see. Never mind. Okay, we're coming up to uh, London Marleybone. No, I'm going to stop a bit more. We're actually doing early. I don't know if it will let us uh, come into London Marleybone that this early. You could go from Aylesbury to uh, London Marleybone, change ends, and then go take a trip all the way to Birmingham Snow Hill. Like somebody could make that scenario, which would be a really long story, but really cool at the same time. Because obviously, obviously, you do need to own both routes. But if you do own it, and you want to make that scenario, then I wouldn't mind uh, playing it. To be fair, I would probably turn it into uh, two parts. Quite a lot of trains at Marleybone, it seems. But well, it is 7 15 in the morning, which is peak hours when it's very busy, so. Literally every platform is uh, full with a train, apart from the one next to us. I think that's the one that, that just departed. And we saw in a tunnel. <laughs> Welcome to London Marleybone. Got cash machines here, platform three to six, platform one and two. On the ground, we can change for the bakery line. Ticket office, gentlemen, ladies are toilets and telephones. This is looks very nice. Oh, it's not the most detailed bar. They put some effort into it, like the X and t uh, arrow sign to go through and here we've got Costa Coffee you come out of here now this street is very busy this long street here it's quite nice station from the outside though London Marleybone Good driver, thank you very much. Spinning six times, which is not too surprising. I I will blame myself for that. But anyways, uh hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.